Hey, what's up guys? This is Puerto Rican Boy, and I'm going to review Roblox. I found Roblox through several advertisements on YouTube, and of course, since I'm a sucker for games in which I can make levels, games, and other stuff, I was interested. Hell, I'd even play Barbie and Care Bears if it had a proper level editor. It wouldn't be the first time a game marketed for kids would instead be dominated by adults. At a glance, however, Roblox looks like a Lego ripoff. Objects are made of Lego bricks and people are clearly taken from Legos, except for a few differences. You're not fooling anyone by taking away their hands and feet, it's, po it's painfully obvious that those are Legos. However, Legos haven't, hasn't made a game in which you can make games with or levels. And since I have a lot to say about the website for Roblox, let's get started with that and we'll start with the good. To begin with, you don't need an account to play the games that the people make. There's a guest mode in which you can play, but that's about it. However, if you make an account, um, there's a lot of customization for your character. You have a choice of a variety of heads, faces, gear, hats, t-shirts, shirts, and pants. The gear is sort of like the weapons that your character can use. Hell, you can even change the body shape of your character. One thing is that I like about Video games is when they have such a grand customization for the characters. The game does a good job of teaching players how to play the game. There's a nice little help section on the website, and there are tons of wikis on how to play, build, and even script. This is something that every game should have. And yeah, with that little list of the good, we now have to go with the bad. Let me start off with a terrible community. I know that the game is targeted for the kiddies, but as I said before, there are games targeted for children and are dominated by adults, and they have a fantastic community. Why is the forum so full of idiots? I mean, this is ridiculous. The most popular forum is Roblox Talk, and most of the other forums are either empty or dead. There are a few other ones that are kind of popular, but not as popular as Roblox Talk. Oh my god, there's a role-playing forum? God help us all. As I said, I said that uh, as a guest, you can play the games that the community makes. However, looking at some of the more popular games, I'm not impressed. I mean, the first thing you see is survive the 92 disasters, and the picture has a neon has neon cat. Oh wait, tycoon games? Fucking tycoon games? Yeah, I'll base my game on a shit franchise. Okay, what the fuck? Get a job in role playing? Why the fuck would I play a game with that title? Who killed Despicable Me? What the fuck kind of sick game is that? Who is the ass that came up with that? There are games for Builders Club members only, but I'm gonna get more on Builders Club later. There are also contests that you can compete in. However, there are no judges actually judging the contest submissions. Instead, it's based on a broken voting system. Since there are no judges to check what the submissions are, very often there will be games that have nothing to do with the theme of the contest. The theme of the contest I was looking at was fantasy. So what the f*** is getting flushed down the toilet have to do with f***ing fantasy? The voting system is broken because there's a voting accuracy mechanic in it as well. If the voter votes for what's considered the bad game, rather than what others consider the good game, that voter loses his voting accuracy percentage. However, it's happened before where I just picked what I felt was good, and I lost accuracy. It's a biased system. There's a secondary contest for the voters. The most accurate voter wins a prize as well as a contest winner. The problem is that rather than votes being based on what the voter felt was good, it's a biased system that focuses more on which game is more popular, and sometimes it's a guessing game. Sure, you get more points on actually playing the game, and it can give you an idea on which game is better, but it just boils down to a f***ing luck fest. Since the game with the most votes will always offer more accuracy points, people will just keep voting for that game, and it'll stay on top no matter how bad, and of course, there are always those times when neither game has anything to do with the theme. I've actually come across an entry in which the game was empty. There was nothing in there except a f***ing floor. Why aren't there any proper judges? What the fuck were the creators thinking? I know I mentioned that there are plenty of customization options. However, 
I didn't mention the currency and the prices or the, and the prices in which you use to buy clothing clothing for your character. There are two currencies. One is tickets and Robux. Robux, you have to buy it with your cash or money. Oh my God, these prices for Robux are ridiculous. Why would you expect anybody to pay over a hundred dollars for ten thousand Robux? Oh my God, they charge fucking ten thousand Robux for goddamn gear? I know they're weapons, and usually in video games, weapons tend to be expensive, but that's excessive. Wait a fucking second. 10,000 for hats! Fucking hats? I can't believe this! Eight fucking hats, which adds up to over $800! Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Faces too? To pay $100 for a retarded face paint? What fucking money grabbing assholes? By the time you're done with this game, you're gonna be in fucking debt! Okay, so far, I'm not impressed with the game, and I haven't even fucking played it yet. Next time in part 2, I will review the gameplay.